Hi, this is a quick tip for you about the multi-domain capabilities of a geometry nodes. Um, the point separate node where people seem to have some uh, issues with it and how you can use vertex colors in a modifier that only allows to use vertex groups. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, here I am in Blender 2.93 Alpha. This is uh, the latest version. I just downloaded this from uh, builder.blender.org. Uh, this is my startup file and we're just gonna use this because this is uh, going to be a very quick video. So I'm gonna take this outer sphere here, go to geometry nodes and I'm gonna remove this subdivision here. Now we need a new geometry nodes node tree. First thing we want to look at is the a point separate. Some people watched my video and they can't make it work. So once again, this is how it works. First of all, we distribute some points onto the geometry, crank up the density here. And then, uh, you know what, we have to go to uh, weight paint. So over here, I hope you can see this. Yep. So over here, we um, are going to add a new vertex group. And we call that painted painted and now we're gonna let me just disable this modifier quick and now we can uh, weight paint right so let's go over here and we're gonna paint something like this okay now let's enable the modifier uh, we have this uh, weight painted now in our vertex group called painted we can add a point a separate node and we can use the painted as our mask. So this is everything that we didn't paint. And geometry two now is that like cross that I painted. Okay. So this is using vertex groups. Vertex groups have, um, so a vertex is either in a group or it isn't. And when it's in the group, it has a, um, a weight assigned to it, weight between zero and one. I personally think that where vertex groups should actually be called vertex weights because it's weight painting and if it has weight zero it's not in the group so well i would i would call them vertex weights but they're called vertex groups and it's called vertex uh no weight painting if you paint on the vertex group uh, the other thing we have in blender are vertex colors and vertex colors this is where uh, you vertex paint so this is where the multi-domain capability comes in that we get in geometry nodes now let's try the same thing with vertex colors let's add another vertex color slot here it's uh, called col and you can see if I put col in here it doesn't work so neither this one nor that one. So that the one is just one and the other one is zero. And we also get this error message up here. No attribute with name call. Although we do have an attribute um, called call, but it's not a value between zero and one. Why? Because it's a color, right? It has an R, a G and a B value. And also, and this is what the multi-domain thing is, um, the vertex group where you weight paint um, is for the vertex itself, right? Each vertex has a value between zero and one. Vertex colors, on the other hand, uh, the domain for the color is not the vertex, although it's called vertex color. It's actually the corner. And like I said, we have RGB values. We don't have one value between zero and one. So how do we get one value? Well. It's actually quite easy. All we have to do is we have to go attribute separate X, Y, Z. We take the color and we separate it into its R, G and the B values. And now we use, for example, the R value. And if we plug that in here, why isn't it working? Well, because I haven't painted anything yet. So let's go switch this off. This is our weight paint, right? We have to go to vertex paint, which is actually 
corner paint and we're going to paint on this one here, the selected one where the, the little camera is active. So first of all, let's uh, make it all black. So I set the color to black and set vertex colors. Now everything is black. Now I pick white and I'm going to just paint something up here like this. Okay. So now this is not weight painted. This is vertex painted and it is painted in this color. And if I go to object mode, and if I switch my modifier back on, you can see now I'm using the red channel of my vertex color as the mask for the point separate. So this is the stuff I painted as a vertex color. And this is the other stuff. Okay, so this is probably the one we want. Cool. Now, we're using a vertex color as a separate uh, as for the point separate node. Of course, we're using the red channel. So how about we go into vertex paint, disable this modifier quickly. I'm going to pick the red color and paint some more red down here. Okay. Now if I enable this, <clears throat> you can see since I'm using the red channel here, I get this added to it. If I were to use maybe the green channel, or how about the blue channel? RGB, right? B. Well, whatever. <laughs> so the blue channel is just the white and the red channel is with the red. Okay. So this is how we use vertex colors. Now we can take this even uh, further. And um, for that, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to add another vertex group and I'm going to call this from vertex color. So I'm going to take this vertex color and put it in here, all using geometry nodes. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we don't want the points, right? So we just want the geometry. We want to take the vertex color col, separate it into RGB. And then how can we set, first of all, let's put this in here. How can we set um, uh, the, 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 the something? Well, probably the easiest way is with an attribute math node. So forget all this down here. Uh, we're just going through here, right? So we're going to take the R, we're going to add nothing to it, and we're going to set it into this vertex group from vertex color. So if I go to vertex now to weight paint now, you can see this is the one I hand painted and this is the one we get from geometry nodes now. So now we're using the red channel from this color in this uh, vertex group. If I take the blue channel, I get this. Okay, so let's set it back to red and red. And then now the cool thing about this is um, we can now, for example, add a displace modifier. Let's take some cloudy displacement. And you know that modifiers always have vertex groups. So you can limit the modifiers effect to a vertex group, but not vertex colors. Right? So we can only use vertex groups here. And you can see we set that we took the red channel from the vertex color, placed it into a vertex group called from vertex color. And now we're using that in the modifier. And we're only displacing this painted stuff up here. So we look like uh, this, right? We get some displacement up here. These things are weird because uh, this shader ball actually has some bubbles inside. It has uh, geometry inside. And of course, with the displays, the, they kind of pop out. But you can see the effect here. I'm only affecting this uh, painted area. And this is not weight painted from a vertex group. It's actually a vertex color set or transferred over from one domain to the other domain using geometry nodes. 
That's it, quick and easy. I hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I have all sorts of uh, Blender tutorials and of course I'm gonna stay on top of the whole geometry node development. If you're also interested in uh, some introduction to geometry nodes, I have some videos here on the channel. You can find links down below. Thanks for watching, Crispy out.